So this is my canard airplane and I'm here today for the remading of the airplane. here today for the remading of the airplane and okay maybe later I'll talk about the features of the airplane but for now let's just fly it or should I spend the time this is not a light this red thing here is just a pearl I found and I thought ah oh, well it looks good there so this is the Naka inlet inlet I made for the airplane you know, for cooling the battery is in there the ESC is everything to cool the electronics inside and here I have this right amount of motor tilt and let's hope it's with by God's grace everything is going to go pretty well and I'm very sure about it I'm being very optimistic okay not so good I'm not so comfortable with hand launch airplanes but here it goes. Okay, I need to play from people to do this. And then speed and it changes. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> So that was a very big dive and I broke my prop everything out the plane still looks good though I need another propeller Jeez. I broke my prop man Okay, so I kind of set the plane deep inside, like, the... Okay, nothing is broken, the plane is good, strong enough, and the wing is still strong. Yeah. I'm going to have to fix a new propeller on it, and then try the remading again. That was painful, you know the broken prop I have seen a piece of it and this is it the prop hello hi so this is my canard airplane on the second remading the first one wasn't good I crashed the plane and I damaged the propeller and the motor mount I've glued them back in and one of the aileron came loose yeah, that one, so I secured it back in. And with this progressive crack you see under here and, you know, the wrinkled nose. So I'm hoping that this flight is great. I did some trim adjustments. You see the ailerons are not level again. They're a bit up. And so it's the other one. Just to relie relieve the stress on the canard a little bit. Like to relieve the load on the canard a little bit. And I moved the... See you a tiny bit backward. So, okay, so the wind is coming this way. So I'm going to be launching this into the wind. Well, I hope I have enough power in my arm throw on like the floor. So from this inlet here, I can see the battery inside. And I know it's going to scooping a lot of air. 
I didn't make an outlet dock for the airplane because this hole here that I used to access the screws, I feel it's enough to uh, to serve as an outlet dock. You know. Especially since it's slopey downwards, so there should be low pressure air here that will fuck up the air. So that's it. Okay, I'm about to send it like in a very short time now. Send it and I'm happy I have good headwind today. Okay, so I hope I have enough chill in my arm. Very powerful throw, man. I almost lost it. But man, this is awesome. That was scary. The throw was very scary, you know. But I'm having pitch control, like. So let's. Okay, that is some great flight I'm experiencing and my legs are shaking man so the plane flies awesome I'm so excited I threw it like you know there was no tomorrow and I'm glad I'm flying the plane so well you know even though it's a bit pitchy but I'm going to stay up in the air for a long time because I'm a Hope the sun doesn't distract me, man. Okay. Thank God I have the sun very high this morning. I'm having some decent flight here. The plane can really slow down, like you see. But I wish I had rudder on this airplane because I would. The plane seems to be yawing to the left. I mean to the right, yeah to the left, yeah and I would be happy if I could give a controlled yaw maybe, you know and I know I can do rolls with this plane like but I'm not going to try that now or maybe I can try it like go very high but let's just do one more turn Let's do one more turn and bring the airplane in. The plane lacks control a lot. Like it's very pitchy, you know. So I'm flying with very little radar and now I'm flying like with the wind. So when I fly oh, against the wind, I'm kind of slower. I'm so happy my plane flying flies great now let's see if I can do the roll uh, I don't want to try because the plane is so not controllable right now let me just bring it back and try to land it as slow as I can Okay, it was pretty fast then. That was my range warning beeper. <sighs> okay, so I'll start to slow down now for a land, for a control landing. So I'm going to glide the plane down. So I'm going to land it here into the grass. <laughs> and okay. Alright. Had a bush like this. Okay, for bush. Mm. So that was a sweet landing in the grass and the plane is really pitchy. I think it's because of the way I set it. And the CG needs to go forward a bit, but man I'm so happy, you know. So the plane flies and I am super excited. And let's check if the inlet dock works. I'll fill the 
ESC and if it's very hot then I know it didn't do much. Mm, it's warm. Oh it's hot. It's hot. very hot. I guess the dark doesn't work that good. Alright, so this is my canard. Tiger boat, slow neck. I am so happy with the flight. The trimming I made was because of last you know fly the la the previous three mating which crashed and I fell because I didn't give it enough momentum for the canard wings to generate enough lift to pull the airplane up and so I raised the ailerons a bit up so it has a reflex and it takes off the lo a little bit of load from the canard wings and I also increased the th throws of my canard a bit more downward so like it gets all the way down there before it was just about maybe here but now it can go this way and that added up to what I just experienced today it was very pitchy and also I moved the CG back when the CG was here you know 31% the distance between the CG here and here uh, but I moved it backward about 1 cm or a little more maybe so let's check that maybe around yeah see it's a little bit tail heavy so the plane flew great and I'm very excited it flew finally I have the plane in the air and maybe I'm going to make some adjustments but the plane <laughs> hand launching airplanes is not really easy I find it a bit scary I, pref I would rather have this plane on wheels but because I'm using a very big battery on this airplane and the airplane is already about weighing about 600 grams slightly above that I think maybe 620 I don't think adding wheels is a good option for now until I get the battery I used on this airplane before it was a 100 gram 80 gram battery 3S yes. this one is 171 grams so that's a lot of change in weight and of course the the added top of the fuselage and the painting and the paper covering also increased weight uh, so I'm happy the plane flew great bit pitchy though but I'm still happy okay that's about the canard